it was better before. How often have we heard this sentence, this statement? Often when we are confronted to change, there's a part of us or, or a part of the group to which we belong that will repeat this. The, there's people who are always afraid of change. There's people who crave for change. There, there's never enough change. Well, there's other people that are against change. Regardless, you will say, I would like to change something and they will be against it. They would not know what you will bring, but they're against it. To the point, some people that they look to the past with a very selective memories. They select only the good part and they conveniently disregard and forget all the difficult times. Somehow this is the experience of the Israelite. They were in Egypt. They were reduced to forced labor. And Moses come and he said, well, the Lord sent me and the, the people to, to deliver you. And the people say, yes, we will follow you, Moses. And Moses Go to Pharaoh, ask, let my people go. And Pharaoh refused. And then there's the ten plagues. And Pharaoh finally say, yes, you can go, but have a change of mind. Pursue the Israelite. So Moses divided the uh, Red Sea. And they can go. And they were finally safe. And when we find them in Exodus chapter 17 well they are in the wilderness it's hot they don't have much to eat they don't have nothing to drink and then they start to grumble and take uh, Moses as a scapegoat and says we want to go back in Egypt life was better over there we had a roof we had food we had water it was better if only we stayed and we read that and, and, and we want to say, have you already forgot? You were slaves, slave. How could slavery be better? Well, for the Israelites, slavery and forced labor was something they knew. Their present condition was unknown. And this unknown for them was frightening, unsettling, disturbing. They have been asked to walk by faith, take a leap of faith, but they have discovered it was way much difficult than maybe they expected. So they began to look back and reminisce older times. And it was better before. We want to go back. But through all this experience in the wilderness, something that they discover is that God was with them all the way all the time god provided for them for their needs as it was promised and they also discover with time that the only way to go is forward they, like any of us we cannot go back in the past and change anything we cannot erase any bad experience. As the expression says, we cannot put the toothpaste into the, 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 the tube. Now, hope, renewal, regeneration is in front of us. It's not behind. And the Israelite discovered this by keep walking and finally getting to the promised land and there they became a great nation way much better than everything they had in Egypt and for us I guess the challenge is sometimes stop to live in the past always believing that what we did when we were 20 or whatever was way much better <sighs> believing that I don't know, there was some kind of golden age that we are always in state of decline and maybe starting to accept what it is today. All the good part, because there's a lot of things happening today that are exciting and there's some part that are not good. And we can work on the today to create a better tomorrow. 
and accept and find the courage and find the strength to walk toward our future and to see and discover where God called us to go and who we can be. And starting to say, it will be better tomorrow instead of it was better before. Well, that's all for today. I remain Stéphane Vermet, the lectionary man. And until next time, take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye-bye.